So sum number one, here we have to examine the continuity of the function fx is equal to x upon mod x when x is less than 0 and fx is equal to minus 1 when x is greater than or equal to 0. So this is multi-conditional function and we have to check the continuity of the function at x is equal to 0. So let's start. Let's try the subheading continuity at x is equal to 0. This is best way to write a subheading and to specify the point at which we are going to test the continuity of the function. So here we have to find first the left hand side sorry left hand limit that is called that is written LHL in abbreviation LHL of fx when x tends to 0 negative is equal to limit x tends to 0 minus h 0 minus h is considered to be less than 0 symbolically when something is subtracted from 0 it is less than 0 so we have to observe a condition where x is less than 0 and we have to observe what is the value of the function for this condition so fx is equal to x upon mod x for this condition so we have to write down this function here now we have to transform the limit transformation of the limit means we have to replace x by h in the limit we have to write h tends to 0 and when we transform the limit this binomial replaces the function so we have 0 minus h upon mod 0 minus h now let's simplify this limit h tends to 0 minus h upon mod minus h and that is equal to limit h tends to 0 and minus h upon and as you know well mod minus h is equal to h so that is the absolute value of minus h when h is a, uh, is a positive uh, number and minus h is a negative number so absolute value of minus h is h now h is cancelled by h and we are left with limit h tends to 0 minus 1 now no further simplification is possible now so we have to apply the limit and application of the limit means we have to replace h is equal to 0 in the function if it exists but in the function after simplification there is no h so applying the limit we get minus 1 only so this is the value of left hand limit now we have to check the right hand limit of the function so right hand limit of fx when x tends to 0 positive that is equal to limit x tends to 0 plus h this is the algorithm for left hand limit we write x tends to 0 negative and in the next step 0 minus h and in the right hand limit we write 0 plus and in the next step we write x tends to 0 plus h so this is a uh, a particular algorithm for, for finding or uh, to evaluate the left hand limit and right hand limit. So limit x tends to 0 plus h and here 0 plus h is considered to be greater than 0 because when something is added to 0 the so symbolically it is considered to be greater than 0. So we have to observe out of these two conditions where is x is greater than so greater than sign is included in this condition and for this condition the function's value is given as minus 1 so we have to write down the value of the function for this particular condition so we get x tends to 0 plus h now we have to transform the limit so when we have to transform the limit from x tends to 0 plus h as h tends to 0 by rule 0 plus h that means whatever binomial is created over here 
that replaces x in the function but in the function itself there is no x this is a constant function minus 1 so that is written as it is now the here no simplification is possible so we have to apply the limit directly so we get minus 1 because there is no term of h in the function it's a constant function so applying h tends to 0 we get the value minus 1 itself so we have got the value of the right hand limit is minus 1 so from 1 and 2 we come to know that left hand limit and right hand limit both have the same value minus 1 now we have to check the functional value that is f when fx when x is exactly equal to 0 sorry when x is exactly equal to 0 that is called functional value so we have to observe in both the conditions where is the sign of equality so sign of equality is given with greater than sign and for that too function value is minus 1 so we have to write down the value minus 1 directly so this is called functional value and let it be equation number 3 so observing equation number 1 2 and 3 we uh, we conclude that left hand limit of fx when x tends to 0 minus is equal to right hand limit of fx when x tends to 0 plus is equal to f0 which is the required criteria for the continuity of a function which is satisfied here because left hand side is equal to right hand side and both are equal to functional value hence we may say that fx is continuous at x is equal to 0. So this is the way to check the continuity of a function at a specific point. Now the second function we have taken find the points of discontinuity of the function fx is equal to mod x plus 3 when x is less than minus 3 less than or equal to minus 3 fx is equal to minus 2x when x is greater than minus 3 but less than 3 and fx is equal to 6x plus 2 when x is greater than or equal to 3 so always remember if we need to find out the points of discontinuity of a function a function may not be discontinuous at any point other than its critical points if it is discontinuous it may be discontinuous at critical points otherwise it will always be continuous throughout the interval so what are the critical points basically the critical points are those points which are identical as upper bound and lower bound this is called lower bound when x is greater than minus 3 but less than 3 then minus 3 is said to be lower bound and 3 is said to be upper bound of this interval and here minus 3 is the upper bound so if in a multiple conditional function uh, an upper bound and a lower bound are exactly same that point is said to be a critical point so there are three conditions and if we see in second uh, first and second conditions upper bound and lower bound are identical so x is equal to minus 3 is a critical point in the same way in second and in third condition here 3 is upper bound and here 3 is the lower bound so here also upper bound and lower bound are identical so x is equal to 3 is also a critical point so there are two critical points x is equal to minus 3 and x is equal to plus 3 so this function may be discontinuous at x is equal to 3 or at x is equal to uh, minus 3 or on both or it may not be discontinuous at any one of these two points or both of the points but if it is continuous on the critical point as well 
then this function must be continuous everywhere because any function may not be discontinuous anywhere other than critical points. So we have to examine only the continuity of the function at the critical points. So there are two critical points. So first we have to check the continuity of the function at x is equal to minus 3. So continuity at x is equal to minus 3. So left hand limit of fx when x tends to minus 3 negative is equal to limit x tends to minus 3 minus h minus 3 minus h as we have done in the first solution minus 3 minus h is said to be or considered to be less than minus 3 symbolically. So we have to observe the condition where x is less than minus 3, minus 3 obviously this is here and for this particular condition function is equal to mod x plus 3. So that value of the function is written in front of this mod x plus 3. Then in the next step as usual we have to transform the limit from x tends to to h tends to. So we write h tends to 0 and when we write h tends to 0 in place of x tends to whatever is the binomial. So as per rule this binomial replaces x in the function. So the function is mod x plus 3 so when we transform the limit h tends to 0 x is replaced by this binomial and we get mod minus 3 minus h plus 3. Now applying the limit because there is no simplification possible over there. So we need not to do anything with this expression we may apply the limit directly. So applying the limit we have modulus minus 3 plus 3 and modulus minus 3 is obviously 3 as you know well. So modulus minus 3 is 3 so we get 3 plus 3 and 3 plus 3 is equal to 6. Now let it be equation number 1. Now we have to find out right hand limit when x tends to minus 3 positive and that is written as limit x tends to minus 3 plus h. Minus 3 plus h is considered to be greater than minus 3. When something is added to minus 3 obviously this is considered to be greater than minus 3 symbolically. So minus 3 plus h is considered to be greater than minus 3. So we have to observe the condition when x is greater than minus 3 and we have to note down the value of the function for this particular condition. So x is greater than minus 3 is given here and for that the function value is minus 2x. So write down minus 2x over there. Now we have to transform the limit h tends to 0 and we have to replace x by minus 3 plus h in the function so we get minus 2 bracket minus 3 plus h. Now obviously there is no simplification uh, necessary because this is already simplified for enough so we have to apply the limit so we get minus 2 into minus 3 plus 0. So minus 2 into minus 3 becomes plus 6 so let it be equation number 2. Now since left hand limit of the function is equal to right hand limit so we need to find out the functional value and as I, as I said the functional value is the value of the function at x is equal to minus 3 exactly so we have to observe where is the equality sign with minus 3. So we get x is less than or equal to minus 3. So the sign of equality is given with less than condition. So f minus 3 is calculated by substituting x is equal to minus 3 in this function. That is called functional value. Modulus minus 3 plus 3 and modulus minus 3 is equal to 3 plus 3. So 3 plus 3 is equal to 6 and this way we get functional value is, our, is equal to 6. 
So observing equation number 1, 2 and 3 we come to know that the values of all these three that means the value of the left hand limit and uh, value of right hand limit and value functional value all are equal to 6. So from 1, 2, 3 we may write it as left hand limit of fx when x tends to minus 3 negative is equal to right hand limit of fx when x tends to minus 3 positive is equal to f minus 3. Hence the condition of the continuity of the function is satisfied so we may say that fx is continuous continuous at x is equal to minus 3. Now we have to check the continuity of the function at the second critical point which is x is equal to 3. So let's start. Now the left hand limit of fx when x tends to 3 negative that is equal to limit x tends to 3 minus h. Symbolically 3 minus h is assumed to be less than 3 because when something is subtracted from 3 it is considered to be less than 3. So we have to observe in the uh, multiple conditions where is the condition x is less than 3. So we have x is less than 3 over here and we have functional value function value as minus 2x for this particular condition. So we have to write minus 2 x then we have to transform the limit so when we write h tends to 0 x is replaced by this binomial in the function so we get minus 2 and 3 minus h so now we may apply because there is no simplification necessary to carry out because this is already simplified so we substitute h is equal to here we get minus 2 into 3 and that is equal to minus 6. So the left hand limit value, left hand limit of the function at x is equal to 3 is equal to minus 6. Now right hand limit. Right hand limit of the function when x is tends to 3 positive that is written as limit x tends to 3 plus h. 3 plus h is assumed to be value greater than 3 because something is added to 3 then is it, it is assumed to be greater than 3. So we have to observe the condition where x is greater than 3. So here is the condition x is greater than 3 and for this condition function's value is 6x plus 2. So we have to write down 6x plus 2. After writing the function we have to transform the limit as we used to do every time. So h tends to 0. We have to replace x by 3 plus h in the function. So we get 6 3 plus h plus 2. So simplifying we get limit h tends to 0. If we open up this bracket 6 will multiply both the terms we get 18 plus 6 h plus 2 or we may write it as h tends to 0 18 plus 2 20 20 plus 6 h. Now no further simplification is possible here we have to substitute the value of h which is called simply uh, applying the limit and when we apply the limit we don't write limit again so we write 20 plus 6 into 0 0 and we get 20. So let it be equation number 2. As we observe the value of left hand limit of the function is minus 6 and right hand limit of the function is 20. So obviously these two values are quite different. So we need not to find the functional value of the uh, function. Functional value at x is equal to 3 I mean. So because for continuity left hand limit and right hand limit and functional value all these three should be equal. So if left hand limit is already different from right hand limit there is no need to find functional value. So from 1 and 2 we may write it as so from 1 and 2 we write 
left hand limit fx or we better write here 3 and 4 because for the first condition when x is taken as minus 3 we have made 3 equations 1 2 3 so better write 4 here because this is the part of the same question so 4 and 5 we better write so write down from 4 and 5 the left hand limit of the function when x tends to 3 negative is not equal to right hand limit of fx when x tends to 3 positive thus fx is discontinuous at x is equal to plus 3. So, there are two critical points one is minus 3 and one is plus 3 and our function is found to be discontinuous at x is equal to 3 only and as I said a function may not be discontinuous anywhere other than the critical points. So, we may conclude that there is only one point of discontinuity of the given function that is x is equal to 3. So, this is the solution of this kind of sum where we need to find out the points of discontinuity. So, first we have to find the value le of left hand limit. So, let us find left hand limit of fx when x tends to pi by 2 minus that is written as x tends to pi by 2 minus h. As I said for less than pi by 2 and for greater than pi, pi by 2 for both the conditions function has the same value it is indicated by x is not equal to pi by 2. So, we have to write down this function lambda cos x upon pi minus 2x. Now, we have to transform the limit. So, limit h tends to 0 and whenever we do that uh, x is replaced by this binomial. So, we write lambda cos lambda cos pi by 2 minus h pi by 2 minus h divided by and here we have pi minus 2 and x pi by 2 minus h. So, let us simplify this limit h tends to 0 lambda as it is and as we know cos pi by 2 minus theta is always equal to sin theta. So, it becomes sin h sin h cos 90 minus h or pi by 2 minus h is equal to sin h upon here pi and if we open up this bracket this minus 2 will multiply both the terms and we get minus pi plus 2 h. Now, this pi is positive and this pi is negative both are cancelled with each other and we are left with limit h tends to 0 lambda upon 2 into sin h upon h. So, as we see this is an standard limit whose numerical value is always 1. When h tends to 0 sin h upon h that is always equal to 0 by identity. So, we have lambda upon 2 into 1 which is not written uh, literally because lambda in upon 2 into 1 is lambda upon 2. So, we write only lambda upon 2. So, we write the standard limit which we have used x tends to 0 limit x tends to 0 sin x upon x is equal to 1. So, this standard limit we have used here. So, we got sorry 2 we have made this as 1. So, we got left hand limit of the function is lambda upon 2 and as we are already given in the sum that functional value that is 
f pi by 2 f pi by 2 means x is exactly equal to pi by 2 the function value is 3 so this effect may be written as f pi by 2 is equal to 3 this is functional value we need not to find a right hand limit over here because we may find the value of lambda with the help of left hand limit and the functional value because we don't have to check here the continuity of the function so in this function in this uh, equation if we know the value of either of these two either left hand limit or right hand limit and the functional value so we may find the value of lambda so we are not going to find the function uh, right hand limit of the function over there so here we have to substitute the value of left hand limit which we have obtained in equation number 2 as lambda upon 2 and functional value is 3 from equation number 3 so we write from 1 2 and 3 we get the left hand limit is equal to lambda upon 2 and functional value is equal to 3 from equation number 3 so transposing 2 to right hand side 2 will multiply 3 and we get lambda is equal to 6 so this is the way to find the value of an unknown given in the expression when continuity of the function is already given so here I have given three sample solutions of three different kinds of sums.